President Trump. And I thought, well, I have a first 100 days too. I have to listen to this all day long. NPR, really smart people talking. And I also listen to really stupid people talking. These scoundrels and just seeing what happens. And guess what? This is what happened. and musicians and stuff are just so upset that they're making art. The National Enquirers and The Globe are owned by this guy named David Pecker. He's great friends of Trump. And they're in the checkout line at the supermarket. So I go into the supermarket, and they're all very dreamy about Trump, and I get one of theirs, and I remake uh, a headline of my own. See that says, I'm guilty? Well, I take it home with my Photoshop. I put Trump in. I go into the supermarket, and I put them over the ones with Hillary. So I keep this part. Now I'm getting smarter because I can put it in minimum no, notes. They're still in the stop and shop. I have cut several people helping me. Put Has anybody caught you yet? No. This was uh, Donald Trump. My first hundred days, and it was all glowing. And I said, my first day, I don't want this job anymore. So I went and replaced that lines. Like this is this is my first one. That used to see Hillary. So I made up this. I say, Trump's sons to push for exciting new business hunting in cash-strapped zoos, and then them, this disgusting thing. Mira's here. <laughs> so John, do you like my enterprise? Your enterprise? Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. My yeah, yeah. I keep saying, John, I've got a paper to get out. But I'm getting more, a little bit more unhinged because my next title is going to be Trump is a scumbag. I mean, just flat out, he's making me so mad. I think, why, why isn't there another side to this? So this is my job. And John says, if I get arrested, and he'll come and get me. He'll just say, oh, is she doing that again? So I've been painting Ivanka. I've been obsessed with her, actually. I have her as a checkout girl to stop and shop. The covers I made, put in the supermarket, I'm putting in the painting. It used to say Hillary was corrupt, racist, and criminal. So I'm not, you know, going below the belt on this. I'm just doing what they did. I have no idea why more people aren't upset about the Inquirer. Ma mainly people laugh at me. But I think it's serious. I think even if you don't buy the magazine, it makes an imprint on your brain. I've always wanted to be a painter. Always, always, always. I begged my parents to let me go study with uh, Raphael, and I didn't realize he had been dead for many, many hundreds of years. <laughs> so they said no. And then I begged them, could I go study with uh, Norman Rockwell? Because I thought he was great too, and he wasn't taking students. So I never get to study with anyone. Just get off your asses and get to work. There's an angel just putting a sh shovel under under one of these guys because uh, the GOP were doing nothing. It's February 13th, so I'm dating them. This is the first time in my life I've had to, not just a month, but the day. I've just developed this whole theory of angels. I had a, 
uh, drawing my mother put over my bed when I was little of these three angels. It's just in plastic. It's just tacky, but it, it influenced me. And I'm thinking they're around. If they were here in the Renaissance, why can't they be here now? I mean, Titian painted them, Michelangelo painted them, Raphael painted them. And I think, well, why aren't they... Why aren't people still painting angels? So I have them in the supermarket. I have them in sex clubs. I have them passed out on park benches. I have them, like, what would they do in today's world? We as humans, the angels can't walk, so they need us for our feet. So it's sort of the responsibility of humans. We can't, don't just sit back and wait for the angels to take care of everything. They need us as much as we need them. Yeah, the weight of the angel. I think maybe we all have someone on, a, on us and trying to direct us, but we're not, we're not sure what they're saying or what they're doing. And I think a lot of us have something like that. It's not just a little guy on your shoulders whispering things. It's a big, heavy, frickin' responsibility. And I don't think Donald Trump has anything close to this on him. Yeah.